Good evening. Only 24 hours ago, reports said China told its tech giants, halt, stop buying NVIDIA's H200. The market panicked. But the reality, it's not a ban, it's a filter. New reports confirm Beijing is preparing to approve H200 imports this quarter. But there are guardrails. If you are the Chinese military, banned. Sensitive government agency, banned. State-owned enterprise, don't even ask or think about it. But if you're a commercial tech giant, you can buy. But the catch? Beijing is pulling a bundle deal. Regulators are deciding on a domestic ratio. Which means you want Nvidia, uh, NVIDIA's H200? Perfect. Very nice. But first, please show us your receipt for Huawei. Show us how many Byron chips you bought. I guess with this move, they aren't blocking the door. All they're doing is they're actually charging a cover charge. And the currency is domestic patriotism. So while China plays regulator, Nvidia is playing hardball. The green team is done being the nice guy. The new demand for Chinese buyers, 100% cash, up front, no refunds, no cancellations, no, oops, I changed my mind on the configuration. Just put the money on the table or put up collateral. Wow, that is aggressive. But why, you ask? Because Nvidia has PTSD. Last year, the Trump administration banned the H20. Nvidia had to write down $5.5 billion. They got burnt. Jensen Wang is making sure he doesn't get burnt twice. Nvidia is saying, you want the chips? You take the risk. If the law changes tomorrow, that's your problem. We keep the cash. And now, of course, it is time to talk about the scale. Because the numbers are staggering. Reports show Chinese firms have placed orders for over 2 million H200 chips. When we do the math, at $27,000 per chip, that is $54 billion in demand, which is roughly three times NVIDIA's current global inventory for this chip. As you can see, it is a demand shock. And NVIDIA is scrambling. The first batch arrives before Chinese New Year. TSMC is being asked to crank the machines for 2026. The question which comes to mind is, why the desperation? Why not just use Huawei's Ascend 910C or Byron or Moore threads? That is because they aren't there yet. Not for large-scale frontier training and China knows this. They need the H200 to build the models. Quen, DeepSeek, Yi and all they're doing is just buying time. So what is the front page take? What are we actually looking at? Well, it's this. China did not ban NVIDIA. And NVIDIA did not regain full access. We are seeing a strategic friction unfold. China will buy the H200 for commercial speed, but it will force those same companies to fund the domestic rivals. So in a way, it is feeding the enemy to fund the home team. And NVIDIA, well, they get the sale. But they pay a 25% revenue sharing fee to the US government. And they operate with a gun to their head regarding regulations. The takeaway is quite plain. We are officially in a dual stack world. One American, one Chinese. Neither is fully open, neither is fully closed. Both sides are terrified of dependence. And both sides are designing policy around that very fear. Which brings me to your thoughts. I'd love to know in the comments below. If Nvidia's cash upfront rule is fair play or is it just panic? This front page, like, share, subscribe, think AI. Think NVIDIA, think AIM.